Brewarna is a very special little community, you know, and uh, it's a beautiful place. People do care for one another, and uh, I believe it's a fair way in front of a lot of other communities, uh, our little town rising above. But energy costs rose to an extent that people couldn't pay their bills. You feel terrible inside because you can't give your family or your children what they really need because you're trying to keep a light on in the house. So here we're seeing a solar system go onto Uncle Ike's roof and it will see his quarterly power bill drop so significantly. I think it's a great feeling. Power's pretty dear these days. So for solar panels to be installed in Bwarana, hopefully on a regular basis, will be a great thing for, for Bwarana and uh, Aboriginal people. Yeah, it's gonna be exciting. We're going to be installing about five kilowatt of uh, solar panels on the roof and 10 kilowatt hour usable of battery storage. But also just uh, helping Uncle Ike understand where else he can save on energy in his own usage, he could almost end up with no bill. The thing is, there's actually a lot of money that's draining out of this community, which means if we can keep it in the community, there's a lot of money that we can do really interesting things with. So unsurprisingly, what Australians choose to do is they choose to take advantage of all the sunshine that's <laughs> falling all around them. Common sense, I tell you. We probably have no less than five days covered with cloud a year, and the rest is all sun. So, Joe, the blind man can see that solar power would be the way to go, you know, and uh, I just can't wait to, to, to see the, the next power bill. In rural communities like Brewarrina, there's a high percentage of unemployed people, and I think um, bringing something like this solar to Brewarrina and to the surrounding communities would just be, you know, fantastic, and a lot of people out here would put their hand up to have a go. What really excites me about this is we're starting here with this house, then we can pretty quickly install solar on the remaining households in this community, and then literally see a rollout of solar, starting from communities really in need, living in a solar wonderland. Let's get every house on solar. What I'm most excited about today was to get everyone in the room as a follow-up to what could be a solution here. And it's called a rolling fund. It's an odd name, rolling, but the funds roll out and then they roll back in. And then that idea seeds the concept for other communities. The idea of the rolling fund means that each household pays a small amount for their energy. That money comes back and then gets recycled onto new projects. So $1 given is not just sunk in one community, but it's actually used again and again and again in more communities. In doing all this work, we have hundreds of communities across the country, First Nations communities desperately needing renewable energy. And we got to meet with David Suzuki for the third time. And he said, you've got to get a rolling fund happening, a zero interest rolling fund, you know, and, and it's got to get happening. Well, 12 months later, and that connection with PwC and all our wonderful funding bodies, here it is. Your program will see huge benefits to the Indigenous communities that are able to get these panels installed without having to pay a huge price. And by example, show the people living in the cities and everywhere else, look what you can do. I want to see all the Indigenous people who live in these little country areas, who struggle with power, to have cheap power, you know? Don't let it be a burden, or, you know, let them live and enjoy life, you know?